Well, week eight was interesting, everyone. How's it going? ZLR here. And today we're going to be uh, talking about all the NFL games that happened this past weekend. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a few that I definitely want to talk about. Um, first off, we had the Thursday night game. Bucks versus Bills. Um, Buccaneers losing that one 24 to 18 in a pretty decent game by them. Um, if I do remember, I did mention someone in that video. Let me just look up the name real quick. Ah, oh, man. I hate this. Every time I try to put in NFL, it puts in BFL. I'm not trying to look at I'm not trying to look at the Bass Fishing League. <laughs> Alright. I thought there was someone that I talked about here. Oh yeah, Ga Gabe Davis. I talked about him. So he had nine receptions, 87 yards, and one touchdown. He was actually, again, fed a lot. I actually had that here in my game notes. I actually didn't even realize that. <laughs> kind of a mistake there. But um, he had a pretty good game. Uh, we also had Khalil Shakir also having a pretty decent game with six receptions and 92 yards. So, yeah, I mean... Bills were getting were getting the passes off. Gabriel Davis was getting fed. It was a pretty good game from the uh from the Buffalo Bills. I mean Josh Allen had an interception but counteracted that with two touchdowns and everything. So that was pretty good. Um next game here. The oh okay. Yeah, this is one of the games I wanted to talk about here. Jets versus Giants. Oh my god, it was a friggin' slow-ass game. I can say that with all my heart. That was a slow-ass game. Um, but Jets win it 13-10. Um, Zach Wilson, 240 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Garrett Wilson had 100 receiving yards off of seven receptions. This is what this is this is the stats I want to talk about here. <clears throat> Tyron Taylor, four completions out of seven attempts, eight yards. Ne I've never seen that happen. I've never seen that happen. And then, and then we also had Tommy DeVito here. Never heard of him until Sunday. Um had negative one yards off of two completed passes off of seven attempts. So, technically, they really only got seven yards passing. <laughs> Ass. Saquon Barkley, though, was uh, practically the leader of the team with 38, I mean, 36 carries for 128 yards. Ugh. Not a good game from the uh, from the Giants at all, and I know that there was plenty of injuries during the game too. Uh, yeah, like I said, Garrett Wilson, seven receptions, a hundred yards. We also had Brees Hall catching it six times for seventy six yards and one touchdown. So pretty good. Um, next game here. We have the Jaguars versus the Steelers. This is this was another good game that I thought was just pretty good. I mean, we didn't have it wasn't a good throwing game. There were there was plenty of interceptions around. Trevor Lawrence getting one and Mitch Trubisky getting two interceptions. So yeah. Wasn't really looking too good. Uh, rushing game for the Steelers wasn't great at all. Uh, for receiving, though, Deontay Johnson, who I actually have on my franchise mode in Madden, 
uh, has eight receptions and 85 yards. Uh, George Pickens with the only touchdown that I see with uh, 22 yards off of one reception. Pretty, pretty decent for the one play, I can say that. And then uh, we had Evan Ingram, 88 yards off of uh, 10 receptions. Uh, Travis, Travis Etienne, I think his name is. I still cannot say that right. Uh, with 70 yards off of re three receptions for one touchdown. He also had 79 yards off of 24 carries. So, I mean, pretty decent game from him. Um, next game we had was the Eagles and the Commanders. Woo! This one was a good game. Um, Eagles showing that they are the best team in the NFL for right now. 7-1. and one. I mean, I think, yeah, I think that's the best... Uh, the best one in the NFL as of right now. Um, pretty much, pretty much a slug fest the whole entire game between both teams. They were getting touchdown after touchdown, and they, even if they weren't getting touchdowns, they were getting at least a field goal. So uh, Jalen Hurts, no interceptions, four touchdowns. 319 yards off of 29 completed passes out of 38 attempts. Uh, Sam Howell, he also had four touchdowns. 397 yards off of 39 completed passes off of 52 attempts. But he also did have one interception. Um, notable players here are A.J. Brown. He had 130 yards, eight receptions two touchdowns and we also had Devonta Smith with one touchdown off of 99 yards and seven receptions also Julio Jones Julio friggin Jones he was in the game he he caught the ball one time eight yards and one touchdown good to see him back on the field for the Commanders, we had uh, Jahan Dotson going eight receptions, 108 yards, one touchdown. Jamison Crowder, seven, seven receptions, 95 yards, one touchdown. Scary Terry with five receptions, 63 yards, and one touchdown. And Logan Thomas with six receptions, 44 yards, and one touchdown. So, practically all of their starting receivers got a touchdown, pretty much. Cra very crazy game, like I said. But Eagles won that one, 38-31. Here's another game I want to talk about because this shit was crazy. Cowboys and Rams. Cowboys win at 43-20. But, but at halftime... It was 33 to 9. Cowboys. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew at that point the the Rams were just not coming back. They were not. Um Matthew Stafford, one touchdown, one interception, 162 yards off of 13 completions. Dak Prescott, four touchdowns. Off of one interception, 304 yards off of 25 completed. Pretty good game there. CD Lamb with two touchdowns during the game. Also, again, 158 yards and 12 receptions. Uh, we also had Royce Freeman uh, carrying it for 44 yards and one touchdown. Um, also, gonna see here. We also had. Ben, I'm just saying Ben. <laughs> yeah, number 18, Ben. I'm not saying that last name. I am going to butcher the shit out of that. Uh, one, 
one reception, 20 yards, one touchdown. That was the touchdown that they needed. But it was the Rams. They kind of couldn't get shit going anyway. So it's not like they couldn't really done anything. And then we had... Yeah. We had... C.D. Lamb with two, two touchdowns that I already mentioned. We also had Brandon Cooks with one touchdown with 49 yards and three receptions. And Jake Ferguson with one touchdown, 47 yards, and four receptions. Pretty good game from them. Next one here, we have the Vikings and the Packers. Packers are kind of showing that they're just not a good team at this point. Uh, Kirk Cousins, two touchdowns, 274 yards off of 23 completions, and a ACL tear. I am very, very upset about that because I, myself, love Kirk Cousins. And also, to be completely honest, some people in my comments a few weeks ago were saying if I shaved my beard, I look like Kirk Cousins. <laughs> I shaved my beard and then people said I look creepy, so I don't fucking know at this point. <laughs> but anyway, we had Cam Akers with one touchdown, 19 yards off of nine carries. And we had TJ Hawkinson, one touchdown. Uh, off of 88 yards and six receptions. And we also had Jordan Addison here with one touchdown, 82 yards, and seven receptions. So, pretty, pretty decent game there from the Vikings, I can say that. And then the Packers. Oh, boy. Packers there. Jordan Love, one touchdown, one interception, 229 yards off of 24 completed passes. Oh, not looking good there. Only only notable players here are Jaden Reed with 83 yards off of four receptions and Romeo Dobbs with the only touchdown from the Packers uh, with 18 yards and four receptions. So, yeah, Packers, I don't know what's going on, but I hope you guys start getting better. I, re I really hope so. You mm. Mm. Next game here, we had the Falcons and the Titans. Titans win that one 28 to 23 in a pretty pretty decent game. And also also I didn't even realize that. They <laughs> holy shit. They wore their they wore their throwback jerseys that were the Oilers. Yo. That's sick. I like that. Will Levis. Yeah, he, he, he is notable here. Four touchdowns, 238 yards off of 19 completions in his debut. This man has some potential. That man is crazy as of right now. Derrick Henry, 101 yards off of 22 carries. And uh, DeAndre Hopkins, three touchdowns, 128 yards, four receptions. Three out of the four receptions were touchdowns. Stupid. That's like Madden. <laughs> that is Madden right there, my guy. And then we also had Nick Westbrook. Ickney, Ick, I don't even know how to say that last part. I'm just going to say Nick Westbrook. Um, One touchdown, 33 yards, one reception. Pretty decent there. And then for the Falcons, they had they had uh, two quarterbacks and John who Smith tried to throw the ball. Um, They did get one touchdown. Uh... Bijan Robinson also got a touchdown on the ground with 62 yards and 11 carries. Uh, we had Scott Miller being the one to uh, get the touchdown with 14 yards and two receptions. Pretty, pretty close game, but other than that, 
don't know what else to say. Ugh. Ugh. The time has come. The Patriots and the Dolphins. I I was busy over the weekend, so I wasn't able to make my separate video on this. And sorry that I'm moving around because I am uncomfortable as shit. But anyway, Patriots losing 17-31. Duh. Duh. <laughs> so, first off, we have Mac Jones. 19 completions, 161 yards, 2 touchdowns, and 1 interception. Uh, Kendrick Bourne with the touchdown. Uh, 36 yards. Three receptions, and he's out for the season, which really sucks because he's actually he was actually doing pretty good for us. And then we also had Juju Smith catching his first touchdown as a Patriot with uh, three yards and one reception. Thank God he finally got his uh, first touchdown. Ugh, crazy game. Crazy game. And then Tua had uh, three touchdowns, one interception, 324 yards off of 30 completed passes. Uh, Raheem Mostert, one touchdown, 46 yards off of 13 carries. Uh, we had Jalen Waddle again, one touchdown with 121 yards and seven receptions, while Tyreek Hill had eight receptions, 112 yards, and the other touchdown. And then we also had Cedric Wilson catching the touchdown with one yard and one catch. Ugh. Sad, sad, sad game for the Patriots. I can say that. Next game here, we had the Saints and the friggin' Colts. The Saints winning this one 38-27 in a game that I kind of just thought was going to be not even that close and plus i did mention that uh their rookie quarterback was going to be out for the season so it's not like they were going to be getting this win here but anyway Derek carr two touchdowns 310 yards off of 19 completions we had uh Taysom hill uh carrying it nine times for 63 yards two touchdowns and alvin kamara with one touchdown, 59 yards off of 17 carries. Then we had Rashid Shahid with one touchdown, 153 yards, three receptions. And Alvin Kamara with one touchdown, 51 yards off of four receptions. Pretty good from uh from the <clears throat> from the Saints there. Evan Gardner Minchu. My boy. 213 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, 13. I don't know why I just said 13. 23 completions. Uh, we had Zach Moss with 66 yards off of 11 carries and one touchdown. We also have Michael Pittman Jr. getting one of the touchdowns for 40 yards and 8 receptions, while Andrew Ogletree had 1 touchdown, 33 yards, and 1 reception. So, they, they had a pretty decent game, too. Next game here was the Texans and the Panthers. And, oh boy, just, oh boy, Texans, I feel bad for you. You let, you let a winless team get the win. I, I just feel bad. I just feel bad. Like, I think, I don't even know. I do not even know. And they got the, yeah, the Panthers got the field goal to win the game too. Just to mention that. Um... But anyway, C.J. Stroud, 140 yards off of 16 uh, completed 
no touchdowns, no interceptions or anything like that. C.J. Stroud did get a touchdown, though, with uh, carrying the ball. He carried it two times for 13 yards. And also, Andrew Beck uh, got it two times for one yard and one touchdown. Not too great. Not too great there. And then Panthers, Bryce Young, one touchdown, 235 yards off of 22 completed passes. And we had... Tommy Tremel getting that touchdown off of two receptions and four yards. Practically, the only reason why the Panthers won was because of their kicker. <laughs> because he got nine points. Oh boy. <laughs> but Panthers, you guys get to celebrate because you guys won. Next game was the Seahawks and Browns. Woo, this was a pretty good game here. So we had P.J. Walker, one touchdown, two interceptions, 248 yards, and 15 completed passes. While we also had Dorian Thompson Robinson with one completed pass for nine yards as well. Kareem Hunt uh, had one touchdown with 55 yards and 14 carries. Um... David Njoku had one touchdown with 77 yards and four receptions. Pretty good there. Um, and the Seahawks, they had Geno Smith thrown for two interceptions, two touchdowns, 254 yards off of 23 completed passes. Uh, we had Jake Bobo having three yards off of one carry and one touchdown. We also had Kenneth Walker here with 66 yards and 8 carries. So he was doing pretty good. Uh, we had Tyler Lockett. A name a name that I haven't heard in a, in a little bit. Uh, one touchdown, 81 yards, 8 receptions. And Jackson Smith Najiba. I don't know. I don't know how to say that last part of his name. Uh, one touchdown, 36 yards, three receptions, and a pretty good game from the uh, Seahawks. Next game we have Bengals and 49ers. Bengals win that one, 31 to 17, and I feel like this is now where the uh, San Francisco 49ers are starting to get a little bit worried. Because people are saying last week that they were a a fraud team. I said that they weren't. They were going to have to show us in the next few games. And they just lost to the Bengals. Who were 3-3. Three and three. So, yeah. Maybe it might be time for panic mode. Uh, Joe Burrow, 3 touchdowns, 283 yards, 20 completed passes. We had... Joe Mixon, one touchdown, 87 yards off of 16 carries. Jamar Chase, one touchdown, 100 yards, 10 carries. I mean, 10 uh, receptions. Tyler Boyd, one touchdown, 40, recep 40 receiving yards off of three receptions. And we also had Andre Losevas, Losevas with one touchdown, Two yards off of one reception. And then on the 49ers side, we have Brock Purdy throwing one touchdown, two interceptions, 365 yards, and 22 completed. Brock Purdy was also on the ground with 55, uh, I mean 57 yards off of six carries. One touchdown from Christian McCaffrey with 54 yards and 12 carries as well. Uh, Christian McCaffrey also receiving the touchdown with 64 yards and six receptions. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty decent game from just uh, him alone. Another game that I wanted to talk about because Chiefs, you guys got smoked. Like... That type of smoked. 
because the Broncos win 24 to 9. And uh, quite a few things. One, Patrick Mahomes had a flu. Two, Taylor Swift wasn't at this game. And three, five turnovers for <laughs> for the friggin' Chiefs. My God. Horrible game. Patrick Mahomes didn't even get a touchdown, which is actually crazy to me. Uh, two interceptions, 241 yards off of 24 completed passes. Uh, no touchdowns at all. Literally, only points were from Harrison but but Butker with nine points with three field goals. While the Broncos over here with three touchdowns from Russell Wilson off of 114 yards uh, and 12 uh, completed passes. We had Jerry Judy with one touchdown, 50 yards, two receptions. Cortland Sutton with one touchdown, 29 yards, two receptions. And Javante Williams with one touchdown, 13 yards off of three receptions. So this Broncos team, even though it sucks that bad, like horrible, it beat the Chiefs. I, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But other than that, we have the Ravens and the Cardinals. Ravens winning 31 to 24 in a pretty, pretty decent game. Uh, Lamar Jackson, one touchdown, 157 yards off of. 18 completions. Gus Edwards was pretty, pretty good out there during the game. Three touchdowns, 80 yards, 19 carries. Uh, then we also had Mark Andrews with one touchdown, 40 yards, four receptions. Pretty good there. Then uh, we also had Joshua Dobbs, two touchdowns, two interceptions, 208 yards, off of 25 completed passes. We had him also running for a touchdown with 26 yards off of six carries. We had Trey McBride, one touchdown, 95 yards, 10 receptions. And we also had Marquise Brown, one touchdown, 33 yards and six receptions. Pretty good there from the Cardinals and everything but just not good enough we're getting to the last part of it now bears and chargers chargers win this one 30 to 13. um we had tyson bagnet with two interceptions 232 yards off of 25 completed passes uh Darrington Evans with one touchdown, 18 yards, four carries. And we also had Tyson. Yeah, we also had Tyson with uh, one touchdown off of four carries and negative one yard. Ouch. Um, only mentionable players here for the receivers are Cole Komet. With 79 yards, 10 receptions. DJ Moore, 55 yards off of four receptions. And Darnell Mooney with 41 yards off of one reception. But now for the Chargers side of things, Justin Herbert. Three touchdowns, 298 yards, 31 completed passes. We had Austin Eckler with one touchdown, 94 yards, seven receptions. And Donald Parham Jr. with one touchdown, 43 yards for receptions. And Simi Behoko with one touchdown, nine, res nine yards on one reception. In a pretty decent game there from them. And for the last game, the Lions and the Raiders. Lions winning this one 26 to 14. Jimmy Garoppolo, one interception, 126 yards, 10 completed 
passes. Josh Jacobs, one touchdown. And I know there was a pick six as well. So that was the other reason why they got uh, 14 points. But on the other side, we had we had Jerry Goff, one touchdown, one interception, which was that uh, pick six. 272 yards off of 26 completed passes. Um, we had Jamar Gibbs with one touchdown, 152 yards, 26 carries. I mentioned him in my shorts. Um, we had Sam Laporta with one touchdown, 57 yards, and eight receptions. And, yeah, that's pretty much it there. Uh, so, oh yeah, let me also mention here. Uh, their kicker, Riley Patterson, had 14 points during the game. So, with that, my prediction score for uh, that week was actually pretty decent. I went 11-5 and five during the whole entire week. And that's pretty good because last week I did horrible. Um, but anyway, next week, hopefully, is going to be a lot better. And also, tomorrow, my predictions will be out for week 9. Uh, there will also be another gaming video tomorrow. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you really want to. Uh, check out my NFL playlist that's going to be right over here. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.